Okay, so Melinda, you, I mean, you have a, like a master's in education from Helsinki University, if I'm not mistaken, don't you? And also, uh, Finland has one of the best reputations in the world for education. And what do you think uh, the reason behind that is, being a Finnish person yourself? Mm, I think it can be about uh, the discipline in the schools. Both teachers and students learn from very early that they need discipline, self-discipline to do the things, yeah. focus on the things they need to learn, yeah. and uh, take action yeah. also. Yeah, yeah. And uh, there may be other things as well. Maybe teachers, I see an experience that teachers need to learn more about the learning styles of the students, mm -hmm. because uh, then they know better how they can contact and connect with each and one of the students. Yeah, because people learn in different ways, don't they? Yes, they do. Yeah, yeah. Someone learns like visually and needs to see pictures and things, yeah. while others need to hear, hear about it explained. Yeah. And uh, then there are those people that need to experience and do things. Yeah. And in usual teaching, there is maybe most of explaining, so it could be good for the teachers to learn more about all the learning styles and how they can use them in the teaching. Yeah, yeah. And Svan, you're a, you're a high school teacher, aren't you? And a, yes. And a specialist yes. in music. Yes. So how do you see like the the application of uh, of like you know the paradigm NLP and the, the whole you know NLP scene in, in what it is that you do? Yeah, I see uh, NLP is a very important thing, yeah. uh, especially in music and yeah. uh, drama, and uh, when you do performances. You have to uh, prepare every student, mm -hmm. and uh, when you can try to make them uh, picture the situation mm -hmm. uh, when they're going to do a concert, yeah. and that's the end of the year. Yes. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah, I suppose that helps regulate arousal and anxiety for the for the kids. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Because you can go through the whole event yeah. before you start until the applause is yeah. coming. What do you think uh, about what Melinda was saying about the learning styles, you know, of different children, the visual, the kinesthetic, the auditory, the digital? How, how do you think uh, that kind of applies in, in teaching, from your perspective, obviously? I think it's, uh, you know, there's different uh, students have different uh, needs and they uh, absorb uh, uh, the message yeah. you do in different way. Yeah. So, um, uh, in my uh, uh, teaching, yeah. I was not so aware about that because I didn't know about the NLP. Yeah. But now, if you use NLP and you know, you can yeah. see it as a kinesthetic person or yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. who is using the ear, yeah. uh, you can try to difference, to make difference in your teaching. Yeah. Yeah. I also see that Paradigm NLP it gives uh, the teachers the practical tools in the teaching so that they can make the teaching even better. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. They, they give them tools how to handle situations that can be maybe difficult yeah. or difficult students, mm -hmm. how they can handle them yeah. in a better way as well. Yeah. 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 You can use also in uh, mythology and because you can use NLP as uh, in accelerated learning. Yeah. You know what you want to learn and how is specific the kids what they want to learn mm -hmm. how are they able to learn mm -hmm. that depends on uh, as you as a teacher yeah. to understand yes. the, the kids mind yes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then there is the thing about motivation and goal setting yes absolutely. for the students yes. to help them better uh, to focus on the exams and focus on the learning mm -hmm. things that they need to learn. Yeah. And handle their state as well. Mm -hmm. Teaching them to handle their state because when they when they're more uh, when they have more control over their inner state, when they're more balanced, then they can absorb more information. Mm -hmm. And everyone knows that the, the word exam can be a very negative anchor for, yeah. for many, many students. Fear into the heart yes, it does, it does. So I mean basically teaching them how to handle their emotions and their state. I mean, it's like, who wouldn't like to do that? Yeah. And I mean, Jill, you've taught thousands of thousands of, of people here here at the academy. You know, uh, how do they feel about the uh, the applications to teaching? 
Well, I've had uh, many teachers, dozens of teachers through the, through the paradigm in LP here, and uh, many of them say that they really should have had this in their teachers' training when they were taught to be teachers. Yeah. Many of them now are helping youngsters in a totally different way. They're able to recognise which system they're using, if the student is more visual, if they learn by pictures, or they're more auditory, yeah. or they're more kinesthetic, where they have to do things and the information has to flow mm -hmm. through their body. So I haven't had a single teacher, I haven't had a single adult um, through, my, through the Paradigm NLP here who hasn't said, I should have known this when I was being trained, yeah. and I should have certainly known it when I was younger, yeah. so that I could have applied it to the different challenges in the different contexts mm. of my life.